everyone! So today I will be doing voices from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now the Pokemon games don't have voice acting in them, so these are my best guesses on how the characters would sound. Hope you enjoy it! Pikachu! I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Alright, here I am! We finally made it, huh? This is Mezagoza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. You... You did it! This is legit incredible! You're the strongest out there! I mean, you knocked me flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... <laughs> oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break before round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. Pikachu. H Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus rewards from Cassiopeia. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'd get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Heh. <laughs> This must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work out of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you to help me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Hasta la V-Star. The six of us thought up that catchphrase when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the League point systems, but they're letting me off easy. The Pokemon League said they'll waiver my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me, like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you here to meet like this. I'm still not great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but, um, th thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't even be enough to properly thank you and all you've done so here. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. Ever think of a way that I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you. Be seeing you then. Hasta la V-Star. Pikachu! Eat up, my cute little Vivalon. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. 
Thank you so much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Patisserie Soap Berry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortando gym right now. Forgive me. Um, <clears throat> My name is Katie, and I am the gin leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. That was quite the battle. I must say that your skills rival that of even La Primera. Ah, oh, how sweet it is to battle without holding back, even if I end up losing. I am beginning to think that going too soft on people may be no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put more of myself into my baking, after all. I think I may try conducting battles in my own style from now on. If trainers complain that the Cortando gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you again someday. Be got you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Iona Zone. Hey, hey, hey. Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my lecture web. Who was that it? Iono. I am the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. Alrighty then, who's ready to see me kick some butt? Looks like you're all getting hyped. Ah, thank you, Munchly, Electro King. Let's get this show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. Let's find out together. Our challenger came out victorious. Well done. I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, anywho, my loyal fans. Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me? The lean, mean, steaming queen? I'll tell ya, you win a gym badge! Woohoo! Screen cap this quick. It'll be a shot you want to save in your brain spaces forever. Be got you. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. <laughs> I must say, you are a cute challenger. I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? You keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important to both people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. I lost the battle? And your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big break elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first before I run off and do such a thing. You have earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations. Ah, the rush of exhilaration before a battle. Every cell in my body is humming with excitement. Having a totally amazing opponent such as yourself makes the feeling even more powerful. You know what? I'm really happy right now. A diamond in the rough that I helped to polish is now sparkling as bright as the finest of gems. Seeing others working so hard allows me to work hard myself and never shed a tear. Sadness is not in my vocabulary after all. The closest emotion I allow is the beauty of surprise. Allow me to teach you how to do true emotional spectrum practice. 
Pikachu. That's me, Rika here, at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. What? I, I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. Like, interesting. At a glance, anyway. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the further you go. But not you, right, kiddo? See you when you hit the champion assessment. You show these gyms what you got. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let's see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'd go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. Pikachu! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! But, but I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are, like, really strong, too. Like, really strong! Well, um, I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, so hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, um, Pinnacle. It's where the Pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. It's so cool you made it this far. But this is where you say bye-bye. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off. You'll see. I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart. I look forward to meeting you again soon. It gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful, like Champion Nomona did. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. Pikachu! So you're the dope who's been picking a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you'd do something so stupid. And I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get the hunk of metal rolling. I burned through everything I had, and now I'm sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Pokemon of yours really let us have it. Being me in a battle is a huge deal, so here... Take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Pikachu! Okay, I am ready. Doesn't matter who you are. I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Rawr! Lately, I feel like I can do anything. Even if I'm really tired or I feel like crying. Remember that time we riffed off the gym badge designs to create our own star badge? Well... I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have this. Pikachu! Hello, it's nice to meet you. 
My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon, is that correct? I need your help. I am currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the great crater of Paldea. I have been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. But there is something we need first. Something that can be found within that lab. What we need is a Scarlet Book. Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I will be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero, whenever you arrive. I'm afraid there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during an incident that destroyed research station number four. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked him to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. The reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing I to do here at Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Be got you! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,